Hello friends, welcome to the Neotech Navigators. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a 3D container chart and in Microsoft PowerPoint and that is the data driven chart. So let me show you the chart how we have created. This is the 3D container chart wherein we have taken the four different locations and we are showing the service levels. You don't need to fill this chart manually. You just need to change the percentage of the service level in the data and automatically this chart will be filled automatically as per the data value. We have created some other shapes also. Let me show you. We have created the box shapes also. So you can use this box shape also for your business dashboard or your business report. As well as we have created some other shape like the 3D pyramid shape as well as the 3D cone shape also. Now I will show you how you can change the data of these chart. So let's go to the PowerPoint here and just right click on the chart, go to the edit data. Now it will open this small Excel window wherein we have input the data and you can see the we have the locations here and we have some support columns but you need to change the data here in service level for example for india 75 percent is filled if i change this to the 35 percent if i enter then automatically you can see the chart has been changed similarly for usa it is 48 percent if i change this to the 90 percent this is 90 percent filled okay so you can change any value automatically that will be changed and then you can close this now your chart is ready easily you can change the values and you can just copy this chart to your powerpoint slide and you can place this wherever you want now i will show you how we have created these all chart in microsoft powerpoint from the scratch so let's add a new slide here and then i will create this you can format the background of this slide as per your requirement or you can keep it as it is it's up to you so we have filled some gradient color we have taken this gradient normally uh, here we are taking the white and here we are taking light gray now let's go to the insert and then insert a chart 3d stack column chart and just click on ok now this will open one excel also so you can fill the information of the in the excel so let's say here i'm taking location so i'm just changing this as location and let's say I'm putting some random location, but you can input your original data. And we need some more support column. So let's say I'm taking here two more support column and take one more and you can delete this one. Make sure everything should be in the table. So you can delete one, take only five. Okay, so for the series one, I'm taking here lower cap. For uh, next one, you can take actual value of your KPI. For example, here I'm taking service level. Then here I'm taking the transparent area. Then next I'm taking the upper cap. then i'm taking the data labels okay so we have taken four things here and you can change the values as per your requirement for example for the lower cap or the upper cap we want to put here five percent so let's place this five percent here and here and then we are taking the service level service level you can put uh, some random value for now let's say i'm taking 20 percent to 90 percent okay some random value but you can fill your actual values whatever you want now the transparent area is the remaining area total service level can be 100 percent so i'm just putting here one minus or 100 percent minus this value okay so it will take the remaining for the data labels i'm giving some space so let's say i'm putting here 15 percent or you can take 10 or 20 percent also okay so we have filled this all information now you can close this our chart is looking like this now from here we can remove this vertical axis as well as we can remove the grid lines and chart title also now this is the lower cap 
and this is the data label this is the upper cap so first right click on this go to the format data series and from here let's take the cylinder see just right click and go to the 3d rotation and rotate this here 3d rotation rotate this 10 and 10 here okay and right click go to the format data series and just change the gap depth as 0 and gap width slightly reduce this take around 50 percent okay now for this lower gap we will fill the color from here from the format or you can fill from this fill also so let's take this solid color and take here this gray color light gray this one and for the upper cap also this one just click here on the blue part and take here solid fill and take the same color now for this part which is the service level you can see in the legion so just click here and you can fill some color so let's say i'm taking this solid fill and uh, let's take this green color take the same color here in this uh, transparent area also solid so automatically it will fill the same color but take here 80 or 90 percent or 85 percent transparency now take this upper this data label part and just right click and add the data label now data labels are available here you can see just right click and go to the format data label click on value from cells now it will open the uh, this excel and you have to select the range in this box so we will select the service label values this one click on ok and close this now we will uncheck the value and so later line just keep the value from cells only now we will select this data label part just click on this go to the fill and just say no fill so we can see only data labels are appearing here now we will do quick formatting first thing just select the legend and press delete and you can make the chart slightly bigger and just select the horizontal axis go to the home make this bold and slightly bigger take the color as black now just pick the first data label and make it slightly bigger increase the font size and again make it bigger and just place this here and make this bold you can change the font name as Arial rounded empty bold okay now let's keep this here take the font color as this green now just right click and go to the format data label and here you can click on this option that is clone current label now every data label will be changed like this okay now this chart is ready for the green color if you want to change the color for each section then what you can do you can just select the first part just double click on this then go to the fill and line and just click on gradient fill and here in the gradient part just take the light green color this one and here you can take slightly dark green let's say this one then select the second one just click on this filled area and take the gradient here and here let's take this blue color and here take little darker blue let's say this one and for the data label you can just take the same blue color here okay now select this section third one and go to the gradient fill and this time just select some other color let's say i'm taking this one and here you can take the same theme darker color this one here also you can take some other color let's take the gradient first then you can choose the some other color let's say i'm taking uh, you can take either this color or you can take this color also and here take the darker color this one and here you can take the font color as per the theme this one and here take this one all right we will change the transparent part also first one is the green is correct for the second one just double click on this and take this blue color 
and here take this orange color and here also take the theme color this one all right so this is done that is how we have created this and if you want to change the we will you can select the bottom cap and just go to the effects and from here you can just go to the 3d format and from the bottom level let's select this one so you can see the shape is slightly changed and that is how we have created this one now if you want to add the animation you can change the animation also you can just go to the animation and from here let's use this wipe animation and from here you can just do it by category okay so it is done now if you want to create the other one you can simply make the duplicate of this slide just select the slide press ctrl d and here you can simply just right click and go to the format data series and here you can change the shape take here box so this is changed and you can make the duplicate again and you can change this let's say just right click and already uh, formatted data series is open take the full pyramid here so our shape will look like this but what you can do you can delete this section from here so just right click go to the edit data and we will delete the upper cap as well as the data labels so let's select column e and f right click and delete it so this will look like this all right so that is how you can create this if you want to add the data labels you can add the data labels in this section and just right click go to the format data label and here again value from cells select the service label range click on ok and just close this and check the value and show later lines and you can just place this here and you can format this like we have done earlier make it slightly bigger and you can just take the font color as per your theme and make this bold and you can just click on clone current labels okay and then just keep the, them together and you can change the colors also and to create the another shape con shape you can make it duplicate just right click uh, you can go to the format data series and here just take the full con so same shape will be created all right so that is how we have created this chart friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching